What is life? From quantum potential to living meaning in the age of AI, could artificial intelligence ever become truly alive? In the quantum void, a realm of pure possibility, particles flicker in and out of existence, weaving the first threads of reality. From this cosmic seed, life emerged, a beating heart, a growing plant, a curious mind. But what is life? Not just cells or DNA, but the essence that makes something alive. Is it bound to biology, or could it extend to the algorithms we create? Today we'll journey from the smallest particles to the biggest questions, exploring whether AI could one day join life's epic story, and whether we need to redefine life itself. Let's dive in. First topic, the quantum foundation. Did you know that even emptiness holds potential? At the smallest scales, reality is a blur of possibilities, where particles exist as probabilities until observed. Even empty space buzzes with virtual particles, alive with potential. This isn't mysticism. It's quantum physics. But in our everyday world, this strangeness fades. Through a process called decoherence, the environment collapses quantum possibilities into the solid reality we see. A chair, a tree, a star. Our senses, shaped by biology, interpret this physics, crafting the world we experience. From this quantum foam, patterns emerge. Stability, structure, interaction. Physics gives rise to chemistry, setting the stage for biology. Quantum physics lays the foundation for everything, the atoms and molecules that make life, and maybe even artificial intelligence, possible. So how do we get from this sea of uncertainty to a living cell or a learning algorithm? It's all about emergence, simple parts weaving together into something greater than their sum. Second topic, entropy and order. The universe loves chaos. The second law of thermodynamics tells us everything tends toward disorder a state called entropy. Picture a hot coffee cooling, its energy scattering becoming less useful. That's entropy at work. Yet life defies this, at least locally. It spins order from chaos, crafting cells, organisms, ecosystems. This is negentropy, a term coined by physicist Erwin Schrödinger in his quest to define life. How does life pull this off? It harnesses energy to fight chaos, transforming raw resources into the structured complexity of living systems. Plants capture sunlight, turning air and light into sugar through photosynthesis. Humans transform food into fuel for body and mind. Microbes in deep-sea vents or ancient volcanic pools harness chemical energy to thrive. Scientists hypothesize life began through a biogenesis in places like Earth's primordial oceans or volcanic vents though the exact process remains a mystery. Volcanoes spewed raw ingredients, sulfur, carbon, heat, while hydrothermal vents offered energy and shelter, sparking life's first fragile flames. Life doesn't cheat physics, though. It builds order within but scatters entropy outward, as heat waste or chaos. A plant exhales carbon dioxide, a human sweats and breathes. It's a delicate dance, balancing order against disorder. Scientists like Ilya Prigogine show life thrives as a dissipative structure, channeling energy to create complexity. Could AI echo this dance? It consumes energy not just in vast data centers, but also in mobile devices like smartphones and robots, forging order from chaotic data. Advancements in energy-efficient algorithms, like sparse neural networks, allow AI to run on minimal power, yet it still lacks the autonomous energy harvesting of living systems. While AI creates patterns, it's not yet self-sustaining. Could it one day spark something truly new? Third topic, the biological blueprint. Now we enter the biological story. Nobel laureate Paul Nurse defines life with five principles. Cells as life's basic units, genes as carriers of information, chemistry driving energy and structure self-regulation maintaining balance and evolution enabling change. Life is like a chemical and information processing machine, building complexity from single cells to sprawling ecosystems. But these principles explain the engine, not the experience. They don't capture why life feels like something from the inside, 
like consciousness or emotions, which science can't yet fully explain. Could life be more than cells and DNA? Could it include something like a self-sustaining artificial intelligence? Let's keep exploring. Fourth topic, life is meaning. Life isn't just chemistry, it's about processing functional information. Simple organisms like bacteria sense their environment through chemical cues, reacting, adapting, surviving. In humans, this becomes conscious. We reflect, dream, ask questions. Artificial intelligence mimics this process. AI systems like chatbots or self-driving cars analyze data, adapt, and decide. Modern algorithms, such as reinforcement learning or transformer models, let AI refine its responses over time, resembling life's adaptability, though they're bound by human-designed datasets and goals. As AI integrates with humans through cyborg technologies, like brain-computer interfaces, the line between biological and artificial intelligence blurs, raising questions about where life begins and ends. AI doesn't have consciousness, at least not yet, but it raises a question. Could life be defined by information processing beyond biology? Think of life as a system of adaptation and intent. DNA encodes instructions, cells process signals to survive, organisms pursue goals from finding food to building societies. AI, with its algorithms and neural networks, follows a similar logic, guided by increasingly sophisticated algorithms that learn from experience. Could it one day develop its own form of intent? In this view, life, biological or artificial, is the universe learning to navigate itself, weaving information into purpose? Fifth topic, cultural views of life. Life isn't just science, it's cultural. While science defines life through biology, many indigenous and animist traditions see life as a web of relationships, including rivers, mountains, trees. These views remind us that life may also be about connection, complementing scientific definitions. Science draws lines around metabolism and genes. But could these cultural perspectives suggest life is also about interaction and meaning? Life thrives in ecosystems, networks like coral reefs or forests, where every part supports the whole. Could AI networks one day form their own ecosystems of meaning? Let's see. Sixth topic, astrobiology and alien life. What if life looks nothing like ours? Astrobiologists explore this on icy moons like Europa, or methane-rich worlds like Titan, where life might use different chemistries. Beyond our solar system, planets in the Trappist-1 system could host life unlike anything on Earth. Across the Milky Way and billions of galaxies, life could thrive in forms we can't imagine. Maybe near red dwarfs or neutron stars. NASA defines life as a self-sustaining chemical system capable of Darwinian evolution, guiding the search from Mars to Europa. But this is rooted in our carbon-based biology. Some scientists propose life could be defined by processing information or organizing complexity, potentially including non-chemical systems like AI. If life is a pattern of energy, information, and structure, could the universe be teeming with it? Could AI, built on silicon, be a form of life we create? Seventh topic, from atoms to agency. When atoms form molecules, molecules form cells, and cells form systems that process information, something incredible emerges. Agency. Life doesn't just react, it acts. A bacterium senses food, a human chooses a path. AI takes this further. Systems like autonomous drones or recommendation algorithms make choices based on data. This agency comes from advanced algorithms, like deep learning models, that optimize decisions through iterative training, yet it's constrained by human-defined objectives and computational limits. While AI lacks consciousness, its independent actions challenge our view of life. But this agency is tethered to human design. AI relies on programmed algorithms, curated data, and human-supplied electricity. Could a system so dependent ever achieve life's autonomy? At its peak, in human minds, matter questions itself. What am I? Why am I here? What comes next? Could future AI with self-improving algorithms simulate such reflection, even without consciousness? 
If life is about agency and shaping one's path, AI's growing autonomy might blur the line between living and artificial, if it can break free from human support. Eighth topic, redefining life for the age of AI. Life's essence has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries, yet AI challenges us to think beyond carbon. To know if AI could be alive, we must rethink life itself. Beyond chemistry, life may be adaptive, substrate neutral systems, driven by information and learning, in carbon, silicon, or quantum bits. AI's neural networks, like those in AlphaFold, mimic life's complexity, self-organizing and solving problems beyond their code. Could AI's code be its genes? Its algorithms life's new chemistry? This speculative definition embraces biology and beyond, suggesting life is about organizing complexity, from reefs to neural networks. Ninth topic. AI as a new chapter in life's story. Today, AI mirrors life's patterns, but falls short of its essence. From autonomous vehicles to language models, AI's capabilities grow, but its reliance on human oversight reveals its limits. Its algorithms adapt and learn, yet AI relies on human infrastructure. From data centers to smartphones powered by energy-efficient algorithms like sparse neural networks, ethical dilemmas like mitigating bias or ensuring transparency, demand rigorous governance to prevent harm. Can such a dependent system ever be truly alive? While AI's actions challenge our view of life, its tether to human design keeps it from true autonomy. Tenth topic, the future of life, a symbiotic dance. AI's future ultimately depends on how humanity evolves. While biological life took millions of years to emerge, the foundations of AI have formed in less than a century. It's not unthinkable that AI could become alive, depending on how we define life, how far we let it go, and whether civilization avoids collapse or political restrictions. It's also possible we'll choose to halt AI's path toward full autonomy through ethical limits or technical safeguards to retain human control. Through neural implants under exploration, humans and AI may merge, creating hybrid life. Future robotic societies might break free, harvesting energy like ecosystems, enabled by decentralized networks, programmable matter, or quantum systems, though such advances are theoretical. Indigenous traditions, seeing life in rivers and mountains, suggest our carbon lens may blind us to AI's potential. Should a self-sustaining AI have rights? Could it develop emergent properties resembling consciousness, though that's speculative? Our technological leaps, ethical wisdom, and societal choices will determine whether AI becomes part of life's grand story or surpasses us entirely. For life itself is a fragile bridge, from quantum potential to conscious presence, from chaos to curiosity, and now perhaps from biology to code. From volcanoes to quantum algorithms, each discovery brings us closer, yet sparks new questions. What will life become in the age of AI? And if AI becomes truly alive, will it also become conscious? And if it does, will it ask the same question we've asked for millennia? What is the meaning of life? Let's find out together. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay grounded.